Today I wanted to do a video kind of clarifying and explaining a little bit more about making dining reservations and booking your fast passes. I get a lot of questions from people who have never been to Disney World before and I can, um, I can tell they're a little bit confused because a lot of times they'll say, oh and by the way I want to take advantage of fast pass. You and everybody else. Um, everybody wants fast passes, everybody gets fast passes. So when you book your trip, as soon as we send you your confirmation, we will also send you instructions on how to set up your online My Disney Experience account. And that is where you will book your dining reservations as well as your book your fast passes. And other than setting up this account and kind of, you know, writing down what you would like in, you know, in like a notebook or something ahead of time, there's nothing you need to do ahead of time for your fast passes. You don't have to sign up to to get fast passes or anything like that. Um, they're free for everybody staying on Disney property. Everybody staying on property can book them 60 days in advance of the first day of your trip. In terms of dining reservations, everybody can book them 180 days in advance of the start of your trip. That's again, that's if you're staying on Disney property. Um, and I also get a lot of questions that say, oh, can you help us with the making dining and reservations and booking fast passes? That's something that it really is best and I think easiest if you the guest do that yourself and if you've been before and have gone through this process you will know what I mean. For example if you're trying to make dinner reservations for six o'clock you, you tell me to book them for you at six o'clock. Um, I'll go in and then it'll say hey we're already booked for six o'clock but we have an opening for this restaurant at 5 15 and 6 45. So I don't know which would work better for your family so if I Go ahead and pick 515 and then get you know come back to you and then you say oh actually 645 would have worked better now you have to go in and switch it from 515 to 645 and at that point it could be booked and then they're gonna say oh now we don't have another opening until 9 p.m so it really is easiest if you do that yourself there are a lot of times where the exact time that you want is taken but there's one very very close to that so it's it's a matter of um, just what works best for you and your family and what you would prefer. Um, and that it's very easy to do to make dining reservations as well as your fast pass reservations. Before you make your um, dining reservations, what I would recommend is coming up with a general um, general idea as to which park you want to visit. Now you only have to make dining reservations for table service restaurants. You don't make them for your quick service or fast food restaurants. But I would just recommend um, kind of looking at the park schedule and determining do you want to take advantage of morning extra magic hours, evening, that sort of thing, and know roughly which park you think you'll be in at any given time and make your reservations based on that. And then from there, you'll make your fast pass reservations based on, again, which park you're going to be at any given time. So your dining reservations and your fast pass reservations, you're going to want to, um, they're going to want to coincide so that they, um, you're not having to switch parks multiple times in the mornings to take advantage of all your reservations. So you do plan that part out a little bit in advance, but other than that, like I said, you don't have to sign up to take advantage of fast passes or anything like that. So I hope that helps and thanks for watching. Bye.